Hello there, I am Matt Seuss, and today I am going to show you how to remove a background using On One's Perfect Photo Suite 8. I am using the standalone version of that. Okay, so in Perfect Photo Suite 8 in the Browse module, uh, what you want to do is find the photo that you want to work on to remove the background. I have one already selected here, and what I'm going to do is click on Layers and I want to edit a copy of this and have my file format be Photoshop Supporting Layers. I will hit OK. This opens it up into the Layers module. Now the first thing I want to do is select a cloud background that I want to use for this. I want to replace this white uh, sky. This was photographed on a cloudy day and so this is going to be a real easy cutout with a solid white background here but I want to replace that with some nice clouds. Now I just recently released um, a whole bunch of uh, photo textures and backgrounds that you can purchase and download directly from my website blog.mattseuss.com. Uh, one of those is actually two sets are clouds. I have cloud set one and cloud set two. And we can see that these are already inside of Perfect Photo Suite 8 under the user extras. Take a look at my video that's on my website called uh, Managing Extras with Perfect Photo Suite 8 and you'll see how I was able to install them into Perfect Photo Suite 8 so that I could use them all the time. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is take a look and find a nice cloud background, background that I'm going to want to use. Let's take a look in Cloud Set 2. And let's just go with uh, Clouds number 26. I double clicked on that and what I want to do here is add it as a layer. So I select that option and hit OK. That now puts the clouds on top of my original photo. What I want to do is just click and drag that so that it's on the bottom layer. And now click and select my top layer which is the photo that I want to have the background removed. Uh, just to double check that that layer is selected you want to then go into mask. And what this is doing is just preparing the image so that we can start working on removing the background. Uh, now, like I said, this has a complete white background. This is going to be one of the easier cutouts you have to do. And on the right here, under Adjust Mask, there's an option to click Remove Background. Click on that, and we'll see what that does. And wow, that does a great job. That knew that the background that I wanted to get rid of was white, and looks like it removed about... 95% of it. I got a little bit here that it didn't remove and that's going to be an easy fix. I'm going to zoom in and get down into that area there. And when you go into Perfect Mask, the tool that is automatically selected for you is the Drop Brush tool. I'm just going to go right into that white area there and see if that gets rid of it. That did. Okay, and another favorite tool that I like using is over here on the left, the Magic Brush tool and what this does is this you can see here on the right I have colors to keep and colors to drop uh, let me delete all these colors here what this is gonna do is this you have uh, on the left hand side here you have eyedroppers plus and minus if you hit the plus these are colors that you're gonna wanna keep and you're not gonna wanna remove hitting the minus and then clicking in your photo. These are the colors that you do want to drop and get rid of. So I'm going to select a couple colors there, go back into my magic brush, and now paint over. Right now you can see if nothing was happening like what was right now, I have it set for the mode paint in. Let's switch that to paint out. And I'm going to increase my brush size a little bit. I'm using the keyboard shortcuts on my computer, the brackets. That'll increase and decrease my brush size. Now as I paint over, it is now painting out just that little white area there. There we go. I'll zoom out and just take a look here. Well, looks like it didn't paint out the lower left hand corner either. Increase my brush size. Paint that out. It looks like it left a little white line. I'll switch to the brush tool. Increase that size and paint that out right away. You'll find that when you're doing masking, you'll end up jumping 
from uh, tool to tool quite often in doing your cutout. Now I'm just going to take a look here. Visually everything looks okay. I'm going to zoom out. There is in the lower left hand corner here a way to really take a look at your masks. And if you click on the all layers you can go to red mask overlay. Uh, another favorite of mine is mask grayscale. Now this puts it in black and white and makes it very easy to see where your cutout is. Now this whole sign should be completely white and I can see how I have some shades of gray here before it then goes to the sky which is completely black. These shades of gray this means that the cloud background will actually be showing up ever so slightly on this sign. So easy way to fix that just zoom in a little bit and move over into the area and I'm using the again the brush tool on the paint out. And I'll zoom in just a touch more lower my brush size and we don't want to do the paint out so we'll undo that we want to paint in so we want to paint this all white if it's all white then we won't have any clouds shining through and you can see I'm going close to the edge I'm not a hundred percent perfect you have to take a look at your photo and your cutout sometimes your cutouts it won't matter if you're 100 percent pixel pixel perfect on your cutout that'll just blend in with the sky and I got a feeling that's how this photo is going to be as well. And you can see I went over just a little bit up top there. Let's see if that made a difference. Go into the all layers. Yep, you can see that uh, so what I'll do is I'll grab that magic brush again zoom back out and I always forget to do this switch back to paint out and that takes care of that little spot right there go back to the grayscale just to double check see if anything else was going on down here I'm not gonna worry about that little section there and I think everything else looked good here I'll just Come in and give this a little touch over. Okay, let's take a look at the whole image there. Okay, cutout looks really good. I noticed right now I did go over just a touch again in that section that I was working on. So we'll bring back the magic eraser, our magic brush. And I forget again, we'll do the paint out. There we go. All right, that's it for this cutout. I will hit apply. This will bring me back into layers and now this will give me the opportunity to adjust my background clouds. I'm gonna minimize my left panel over there and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay, now let's, what we wanna do is uh, change the, uh, the cloud background and reposition that. So I'm gonna click on my layer with the clouds and click on the transform tool in the upper left hand corner. Now I'm zooming out here. I know that that cloud layer is a lot larger than the uh, than the original layer that I had the sign and by zooming out with the transform tool I can visually see that. This is the full size of that cloud layer. Holding on to the shift key I'm going to click and drag from the corner to proportionately scale this back down. Now this is one of the great things of using my uh, photo backgrounds is that they are photographed in such a large resolution that a lot of times you'll be shrinking them down to fit your photo. Now I can also, if I wanted to flip this horizontally, and actually I kind of like the angles the way it was going in this originally, and I think I'll reposition it, give a little bit more of the open cloud a pattern up here with the more closed in pattern there. I'll hit apply and zoom out and then there we go. Clouds are all sized and uh, fit right behind that sign and this photo is finished. What I could do now is then hit save. Uh, but what I'm going to do is go into and go through another photo that's a little bit more complex than that one. That cutout was pretty easy. Let's take a look at this photograph here. 
that I photographed on Route 66 out in Arizona in the spring. Okay, I'll select that, click on Layers. I want to edit a copy with the file format Photoshop Support Layers. Hit OK. Now this photo here, the sky is just completely washed out. And uh, even if it wasn't washed out, I don't like the cloud pattern up here where you got this big opening. So we want to remove that and get another cloud pattern in there. So we'll open up my uh, panel on the left hand side and scroll through here and find a good cloud formation that we want to use. Oh, which one? Obviously I don't want to use any of the sunset ones. Let's take a look at clouds number 24. I like these. These have some little storm clouds billowing up on the horizon here. I'll double click that and again I want to add this as a layer. Hit OK. I close this panel up again. Give me more room. Okay just like before I'm going to flip the clouds with the original layer there and have that original layer the one that I want to remove the background on. I want to have that selected and then we go into mask. And we just wait a moment here for this to uh, prepare the image for us. Alright, now remember in the last photo how that remove background worked perfectly. Let's see how it's going to work on this one. Okay, not very good. <laughs> what it did was it thought that my ground was the background that I wanted to remove. And... Uh, now it looks like the car, the truck is on top of a sky of clouds. Uh, not what I want to go with on this application here, so I'll undo that. This one we're going to have to do with a little bit more control. Now one of the things I like to do right off the bat is in the lower left hand corner where it says all layers, I like to switch that to segments. Now what this did, if you look closely, is that it sort of made it a little bit blockier. It's um, melded a lot of the uh, colors together, together and uh, gave it almost a little bit of a cartoonish, maybe almost a watercolor type of a look. Uh, let me get back to... I hit my hand tool. You want to leave the drop brush tool selected on this. If you take a look up on top here, the segment is split up into four. Now what um, what we were waiting for when we went into masking was Perfect Photo Suite was building a rendition of this photo into different segments to try and separate colors to make the masking work a lot easier. Uh, right now it did it on only a four segment. Let's increase this and let's go up to about 27 and see what happens. See the difference there. Now see what happens the sky it started blending in a lot more of the colors into the sky. We have a lot smaller color palette. It's blending in a lot of these colors. But what it's going to do is make that cut out of the sky a lot easier. Let's increase the segment all the way up to 50. 50 is the maximum and see what happens. Now look at now we have a sky that looks almost completely blue with a little bit of shading of gray here. And I have good definition between the sky and my foreground. I'm going to want to use this segment break down here. So now all I have to do is just go back and click on all layers and using the second tool down that it def defaults to when you go into masking, the drop brush tool, I'm just going to drag right across the sky. And look at that. It removed the majority of my sky. Uh, I noticed it did remove a little bit of my uh, telephone pole or um, street light up top here. We'll bring that back in a little bit. Let's click under here to remove this chunk here. And we'll click in there. I use this a lot to sort of get me in the ballpark of uh, where I then need to use other tools to fine tune the masking. But getting rid of some of this masking behind the uh, behind the windshield. Okay, so that looks like as far as I'm going to be able to go with that right here. 
I want to paint before I forget. I want to get back my uh, street light. So I'm going to use the uh, brush tool and I want to paint back in what I had just lost there. There we go. Okay, now what I would do is I would then go into using the magic brush. Now just like before we want to add what we want to drop. So by hitting the, um, or I'm sorry, we want to uh, use the minus dropper right over there so that we can drop colors. And I'm going to go through and select some of the colors that we're going to be wanting to drop. There's some blue up in there around that pole. And we'll come over here to where the tree is. And just looking for different shades of uh, white. There we go. I usually don't worry about selecting colors I want to keep unless I then start seeing uh, issues and colors disappearing that I wanted to keep. So now going back to my magic brush tool, I'm going to increase the size and we want to paint out. And now start painting out and it's removing all those colors that I just told it to. I can see there's a little halo over there. I'll go back to my minus, increase that and see if that will get rid of it. That did. The other thing too is that I can lower my transition. Okay, I'm a little bit sloppy on the brush. We can see how it painted out a little bit of the building. So I'm going to switch back. Uh, let me keep that painted out. I like going back to the uh, the brush tool. And we want to paint in that section right there. And I can see how I did lose a little bit of the white on the Route 66 sign there. Paint those back in, come back in, zoom in with my magic brush. And we want to paint that out. There we go. Okay, let's start making some work on the rest of this photo here. This magic brush is fantastic. Okay, I'm holding on to the space key. Uh, when I do that, that allows me to uh, click and drag and move around in my photo. It's a little shortcut. Increase my brush size. Look at what a great job that's doing over those trees. It's getting rid of all the background, leaving the green, leaving all the leaves. Look at how easy that is. A perfect masking inside a perfect photo suite. Once you get used to it and uh, learn the different tools that you need for the different types of cutouts, it's uh, it's amazing the job that it'll do for you. This one is not as quick as that other one with that solid white background, but still nothing that's really causing me any big huge grief at all. Let's go up to the sign. Okay, looking good. Looks like I got almost all of it. Let's zoom out. 
Okay, what I want to do now is just like before, go into my mask grayscale just to double check everything. And see, this is why I like doing that because I didn't really notice that at first, but I have this line going through here that we're going to want to, uh, again, anytime you see black, you're going to see the cloud background. So I'm just using the, uh, again, the uh, brush tool and going through and just fine tuning this mask now. close. I think a lot of that we're not even going to notice. This is just like the photo before where get it close, don't worry about getting every single pixel, uh, then look at it in the all layers and see if you're noticing any of the clouds or sky background coming through and then make adjustments. Yeah, see, most people are not even going to notice that at all there, it, just with the original color. And just go quickly through the french fries up here. Uh, I'm going to switch this to paint out to get rid of this little spill off over here. We want to have the clouds shining through. And let's see how noticeable that is with everything there. Yep. Don't even notice that spill over there. Okay clean up this area here and I think there was some over in the truck area okay definitely want to make sure whoop, that my sign isn't translucent and it looks like I still caught a little bit of the building let's go over that real quick and let's take a look at I can see how it's um, going through I'm getting some clouds on the top of the car let's see how that looks in real life there yeah I can see how that is not perfect so I definitely will want to retouch this up just so quickly And I saw a couple spots that I went over with that I'll just have to fix again with the magic brush. Okay, let's take a look at the all layers and get my brush down here. And again, paint out. There we go. Okay, good. Everything else looks good there. Go back to all layers, zoom out. And okay, so this cutout is all set. So now what I'll do is hit apply. This will bring me back into layers. And now what I can do is select my clouds layer and we'll zoom out because I know that this cloud layer is a lot larger than the original. There we go. And again, while holding onto the shift key, click and drag from the corner to proportionately scale your clouds down. And I'm going to go just a little bit larger than the original. And let's see, for placement, I'm going to have those cl that cloud storm. It's just popping up on the horizon, just above the truck. And that's this cloud pattern is nice too, because then it gives me a nice anchoring point up on top here with that um, top level of clouds. Okay, let me hit Apply. I'll select my uh, top layer once again. And then this is when you want to do a, uh, a look over. 
because we moved the clouds and just want to make sure that everything is still looking, all the edges look good. And zooming through, looks like everything is good up on top there. If you do find any mistakes, you can go back in and uh, fix things back up on the masking. And I did notice two little question spots right up on top here. I see a little bit of white fringing and right down here on the mountain. So this layer is, st is uh, still selected. This is the one with my mask. I'll click back onto mask. Also see how the clouds are coming through here a little bit. So let's just fix this little section over here that I had an issue with. And we'll use the uh, the brush. We want to paint in. And where was the top section here? Paint out, get that little white out of there. Okay, good. Hit apply, and then this will bring it back into layers, and this is all set and ready to go now. I can hit save and uh, send this photo out to have printed or uh, share it on social media. So uh, there's uh, two examples there, one real easy on how to do a real quick and fast uh, cutout. And I have another one here with the, uh, with the truck. This one had a little bit of everything in it. Had some, uh, had some leaves and uh, a uh, street light that was disappearing that I had to bring back in. Uh, this is probably a little bit more uh, typical of the cutouts that you'd be doing replacing the skies in your photo. So I hope this video helped and uh, keep an eye out for more video tutorials on my website. I also have uh, photo workshops and I'll be teaching uh, Perfect Photo Suite 8 in a couple of courses this year in 2014 in Santa Fe and in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, you can find more information on my website on my blog at blog.mattseuss.com. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.